welcome back to my channel first of all happy new year and thank you for stopping by in today's video I created this beautiful brown smoky eye and I created it by using the dream street palette by Kathleen light and Colourpop to start off I'm gonna set my eyeshadow primer using the shade magical and as always I have extra translucent setting powder under my eyes to catch eyeshadow fallout to put in my transition shade, I am grabbing the shade Shooting Star and I am going to slowly build up this color. Just so you know, as always, my eyeshadow primer is a Wet n Wild Photo Focus eyeshadow primer. I love that stuff. In my crease, I am going to put the shade Potion and I do build up this color because I want it to stand out. And as you will see throughout the video, we use the shade Potion a lot. And this is just to help with the blending, but we'll see later on. As you can see, I am evenly blending the shade from the inner corner to the outer corner and I want to get all of the blending done before adding more of this color onto the crease because I do want to build it up but I do not want any patchiness or any uneven color to the crease. And now with a dense eyeshadow packing brush, I'm going, I don't know if that's what it's called but that's what I'm going to call it. I'm going to grab the shade Elfish and I'm going to pat that all over my lid. If I were to blend this out instead of patting it on, it would probably get really messy and patchy or streaky. So I'm just going to pat it all over my lid and I'm going to try to pat it into the crease a little bit so it can blend into the shade Potion. And I do dip back into the shade Elfish one more time so that I can help build up the color on my lid and so that I can get an even application of the color itself. And like I said before, I'm bringing the shade Elfish up into the crease a little bit so that I can start blending it together with Potion. And yes, right now it looks like I'm just jabbing my eye and it looks painful, but this is so that I can get it in the crease. So now I'm going to grab my crease brush that I used before, go into the shade Potion and start building it up in the crease. And this is so that I can obviously build up the color potion, but it's also so that I could get rid of any harsh edges created by the shade Elfish. Like I said before, you want to make sure you have an even application of the shade potion all over your crease. And because of all of the blending, some of the Elfish shade did start to fade, especially closest to the crease area. So just go back into your eyeshadow brush, dip it into the eyeshadow, and then pat it back onto where it faded. And now, in order to further blend that crease, I am dipping into both Potion and Elfish with that same crease brush, crease brush I've been using the entire look. And I'm going to mix the two colors and go into the crease. And this will help make the crease look better blended because of mixing both shadows to create that crease color. Now, in order to clean up that crease and brow bone area, I'm going back into Magical and I'm just going to blend that out and this will help get rid of any harsh edges created by the crease colors and I'm also going to take it on my outer corner like you know I love to do this for the outer corner because I honestly feel like it helps clean up the eyeshadow and sometimes it helps sharpen up that eyeshadow edge to create an eyeshadow wing. And now we're going to jump into the shade Mooney and use that as my highlight for my inner corners and the high points of my brow bone. And I just want to say that this highlight is absolutely beautiful. As you'll see later on, I'm also going to use it as my face highlight. I've used it as my face highlight other okay, in other occasions. And you guys, I'm telling you, Colourpop and Kathleen Lights need to come out with a bigger pan size of the shade Mooney so that we can all have it as a highlight. It's absolutely gorgeous for a subtle highlight. And now, to add a little oomph to the eye look, because I feel like it's a little matte, I'm going to go into the shade Stardust. And I'm just going to apply that to the center of my lid with my finger. The shade Stardust is a brown shimmery shade but the shimmers are the color of the crease color we created by mixing potion and elfish 
And for my lower lash line, I'm going to apply the shade Elfish really, really close to my lashes. And then I am going to go ahead and blend that out a little bit with the shade Potion. I did bring both lower lash colors all the way into my inner corner, but I'm going to brighten up the look by going back into the shade Mooney and applying that to my lower lash line about a third of the way in. And then I'm also going to blend it a little bit onto the beginning of my lid. And this is so it can help bring light to my eye and brighten up and open up my eye. And in order to brighten up the look a little bit more, I'm going to go into the Essence Everlasting Eye Pencil in the shade Silky Nude. And I am going to apply this to my waterline. Once I'm done applying that pencil to my waterline, I'm going to go with a precise smudge brush. And this brush is from Wet n Wild and I'm going to dip it into the shade Elfish and I'm going to apply it right where the eyeliner and the eyeshadow meet so that there are no harsh edges between the two and that it can be blended a little bit better but I do not put it onto the actual liner. And then for tight lining, I am going to go into the shade But First Espresso. And this is the same type of pencil, it's an Essence Extreme Lasting Eye Pencil. And this is a brown shade and after curling my lashes, I am going to apply two mascaras. The first one is the Lorac Pro Fiber Mascara and then I'm going to go into the Roller Lash Mascara by Benefit Cosmetics. And with this look, I just wanted really long lashes without like all the drama or excessiveness from volumizing lashes. But at this point, you can do whatever, false lashes, wink liner, whatever makes you happy. Now for blush, I'm going to go into the Tarte Blush Bazaar from this holiday season and I am going to use the shade Angelic. For some reason on camera, Angelic looks really peachy, but it's actually a mauve type of blush. And for highlight, like I said, I'm going to go into the shade Mooney from the eyeshadow palette. I'm telling you guys, if you haven't tried it as a highlight, you should definitely do it. It's really pretty and stunning, but it's a very subtle highlight. For lips, I used the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade Frick and Frag. And somehow, while lining my lips, I managed to get lip liner on the top of my lips. So I just went ahead and used a small brush to cover it up with concealer and then my sponge to blend the concealer out. And then I filled in my lips using the ColourPop Lip Satin in the shade Frickin' Frag. To set my makeup, I'm going to use the Urban Decay D Slick Setting Spray and I press in the setting spray into my skin by using a dry beauty sponge. If I were to use a wet beauty sponge, that would bring too much dewiness to my skin and I am on the oiler side so that is something I do not want to do. And as a last step, I'm going to set my eyebrows using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel and I do fill in my eyebrows off of camera using the ABH Brow Definer in the shade Ebony. And that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Make sure you are also following me on Facebook and Instagram. And please leave a comment down below of what videos or tutorials you would like to see on this channel. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video.